Let me give you one practical example. <clears throat> I told you the normal heart rate is 70 beats per minute. Now, during daytime, our heart rate is a little bit increased. If it's not 70, it will be more than 70, like 75, 80 will be there. During night times, when we are about to sleep, heart rate falls below than 70, it will be around 60 or 65. The reason is neurotransmitters. During daytime, when you are excited, when you are doing some work, adrenergic system will get activated and noradrenaline will be coming out. Because of the noradrenaline, heart rate increases. During night time, when you are digesting the food and taking rest, cholinergic system will get activated and because of that, heart rate is reduced. So the heart function is under the control of neurotransmitters, like noradrenaline, acetylcholine. Not only these two, one more hormone is there. Adrenaline. Understand the difference. Noradrenaline is a neurotransmitter released from ad adrenergic system. Adrenaline is a hormone released from adrenal medulla. Renal means what? Kidney. Ed means on the upper part. When you see the kidneys, at the, up, at the top part of the kidney, there is a gland that is called as adrenal gland. From that adrenal gland, a hormone comes out known as adrenaline. Adrenaline is a hormone. Noradrenaline is a neurotransmitter. The neurotransmitter noradrenaline, hormone adrenaline, both of them will show actions on heart. Both of them will increase cardiac efficiency. Heart rate is increased, contractions are increased. So a hormone, neurotransmitters, all of them will affect cardiac functions. Now, out of this, adrenaline, noradrenaline will be acting on similar kind of receptors, alpha and beta. On the heart, we have beta-1 receptors are there. Now, beta-1 receptors will exert a lot of actions on the heart. Major actions I will discuss here because we have discussed about the entire heart physiology. It is imperative to learn how the beta receptors will act. Understand the words. Yesterday also I have explained a few words. Today I will add some more words, but understand them. When you understand the words, relate with physiology, everything will become smooth. We'll see one by one. See, all the effects which are now I'm going to explain, they are beta adrenergic stimulation. Adrenergic, adrenergic system or that neurotransmitter noradrenaline and the hormone adrenaline will be acting on G protein coupled receptor. There are four types of adrenergic receptors are there alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, and beta 2. Beta 1 receptors abundantly present on heart. So that hormone and neurotransmitter, when they are released, they will be attaching to that beta 1 receptor and they will show their action. Their actions are classified as First one, enotropic action, enotropic activity. Now in Latin, eno means muscle or sign of you. I'm sorry, not in Latin, in Greek. Now enotropy means the muscle activity increasing. That means enotropic action means when adrenaline or noradrenaline is released, they bind with beta 1 receptor, they increase muscle tension. That means increases force of contraction. Understand numerically. When normally when ventricle contracts, 70 ml of blood comes out of it. But when this beta 1 receptors are activated either due to noradrenaline, the force of contraction increases. Instead of 70 ml, 100 ml will be coming out of that. Why? Because the forceful contractions are. The increased force of contraction is known as positive enotropic action. And why this positive enotropic action occurs? Because of beta 1 receptors. Positive means increase in action. And how they are being mediated? They are mediating by beta 1 receptors. Yesterday I have explained about G protein coupled receptors. In that, I have told you beta receptor belongs to GS subtype of G protein coupled receptors. They have alpha subunit, which is of alpha yes. Yes indicates stimulation. Alpha yes, when it is activated, that means when Noradrenaline or adrenaline, when it is released in the blood, they bind to beta 1 receptor. When that ligand binds to this receptor, receptor activation occurs. Finally, it results in the activation of protein kinase A. The job of protein kinase A, when it is released in the cardiac cells, that protein kinase A, kinase means phosphate group attached. Kinase is an enzyme. The job of that enzyme is when it gets, 
when it is released in the cardiac cells it goes phosphorylates calcium channel usually calcium channels are closed when phosphorylation occurs the channel opens what happens when the channel is open calcium gets inside the cell what is the job of calcium the major function of calcium is to cause contractions how do they cause by activating actin myosin filament combination that results in con that results in contractions now what is happening by activation of beta receptors calcium is released increases actin myosin filament activation and increases contraction because of increase in contraction more amount of blood comes out of the heart that is increase in force of contraction this action is known as positive enotropic so no it is written as ino it is pronounced as enotropic action so now see when adrenaline or noradrenaline is released force of contraction is increased if force of contraction is increased cardiac output increases this is how the hormone and neurotransmitter affect the cardiac function now when when more amount of blood is coming out of this heart it increases blood pressure so in order to treat blood pressure we will be taking drugs known as beta blockers to block the beta receptors this increase in force of contraction will not be there blood pressure reduces so when you use beta blockers so when you use beta blockers what do they do they will inhibit enotropic action inhibition is known as negative so negative enotropy means blocking beta receptors and reducing force of contraction positive enotropy means activating beta receptors and causing increasing force of contraction so for all the words you have positive and negative words are there positive means increasing activity negative means decreasing activity this is known as enotropic activity not only this one more thing chronotropic activity chrono means time you know there is a word called as chronopharmacology chronopharmacology talks about drugs certain drugs should be taken at a particular period of time example lipid lowering drugs hmg coir reductase inhibitors or statins simply called as statins how do they act they inhibit cholesterol biosynthesis now in human body usually cholesterol biosynthesis occurs in the evening so the drugs should be taken in the evening times if you take the drug in the morning by the afternoon it will get metabolized you don't see any change so those drugs should be taken at particular period of time because you are talking about the time there it is called as chrono pharmacology so chrono means time or the rate now chronotropic means increase in rate similarly again you have positive and negative words are there with everything positive chronotropic means increase in rate that is nothing but increase in heart rate what is normal heart rate 70 beats per when adrenaline or not adrenaline releases what happens the increases heart rate again how it happens same receptors beta receptors what happens with beta receptor activation calcium increases when calcium increases increase not only force of contraction the rate also increases so enotropy force of contraction chronotropy heart rate chrono means time the rate rate is increased again negative chronotropy means by using beta blockers heart rate is reduced two times or some more times <coughs> chronotropic action see usually most of the students will know about enotropy and chronotropy but two other terms are there which which will come in congestion heart understand this one chronotropy a chronotropy means increase in conduction velocity look at this one from as you know the signal will be moving to the entire atria this is called conduction speed how fast the signal is traveling is known as conduction velocity from as you know sorry the signal will be moving to entire ventricles again this is conduction velocity now chronotropy means increase in conduction velocity that means signal rapidly reaches to here and signal rapidly reaches to here what happens when it is reaching rapidly rate again increases so this chronotropy see dromo means movement in fact there is a word in english called as dromomania people who like to travel they are known as dromomania because they are moving so the movement is called as dromo so dromotropy means the movement of the signal velocity is increased that is what is dromotropy dromotropic action 
again you have positive and negative are there positive dromotropy means the drug which is increasing the conduction velocity negative dromotropy the drug which is reducing conduction velocity again remember all of them are mediated by only this beta receptors <clears throat> you need to understand the significance of beta receptors beta receptor will increase all the workload on the heart that is the reason why beta blockers are very popular class of drugs which are used to treat hypertension congestive heart failure angina pectoris and arrhythmia majority of cardiovascular diseases can be treated by using beta blockers why because of all this one more final effect <clears throat> this is known as bathmotropy now that more indicates automaticity automaticity now understand this one what did i say cardiac nodal cells has got automaticity they do not need any signal from the brain they give their own contractions that is called automaticity when beta receptors are stimulated automaticity increases this property is known as bathmotropic property what is the significance of this if too much of beta receptor stimulation is there automaticity increases when automaticity is increased contractions are very much increased it results in series i explained you how the contraction circles when atria contracts ventricular dilates when ventricular contracts atria dilates when automaticity is increased there will not be any coordinated rhythm it results in arrhythmia so this property increase in bathmotropic activity results in arrhythmia see all of them are beta receptor actions first we started with enotropy increase in force of contraction increase in force of contraction increases cardiac output when cardiac output is increased there is always a chance for hypertension second one chronotropy increase in heart rate again increase in heart rate instead of 70 if you have 100 beats increases cardiac output again it affects hypertension dromotropy increase in conduction velocity if increase in conduction velocity is there contractions will be more which may also leads to arrhythmia similarly bathmotropy increase in automaticity so all all of them are mediated by beta 1 receptors again i explained yesterday about beta 1 receptors they are a type of gs g protein coupled receptors what happens by activating that they activate adenyl cyclase enzyme that adenyl cyclase enzyme releases a second messenger called cyclic amp the function of cyclic amp is it activates protein kinase a kinase means attaching a phosphate it is an enzyme what it does it attaches phosphate group to receptors and certain proteins one of the receptor is calcium channel receptor the calcium channel when it is phosphorylated it opens so cardiac cell calcium channel opens calcium will get inside the cell once they get inside the cell then activates actin myosin combination actin myosin by relieving troponin tropomyosin actin myosin will combine together increases contraction and that is what results in all these effects enotropy chronotropy dromotropy bathmotropy now increased activation of beta receptors causes hypertension angina pectoris arrhythmia heart failure so all the diseases can be treated by beta blockers see beta receptors we read it in adrenergic system but the prevalence and the use is there in cardiovascular system because that noradrenaline as well as adrenaline a neurotransmitter and hormone both of them will be acting on heart and increases all these effects remember this words cardiovascular system will be under your control when you understand all this let me revise briefly what are the things we have seen today So today's class, I told you the important.